Swift gives us two ways to skip one or more items in a loop. We can use continue to skip the remainder of the current iteration, or use break to exit the loop and carry on after the loop. Let's look at them one by one, starting with continue. Imagine we have an array of five items. In the array loop, we take one out, deal with it, and we're done. Take another one, deal with it, we're done. The third one though, no, this isn't good. Continue. And when we call continue here, Swift's gonna stop running the whole rest of the current loop iteration. It'll ignore the rest of it. And then it'll carry on with the ones afterwards. So it'll go ahead and take item four and five out of our five item array. So what we're doing with continue is skipping one item. The rest carry on as normal. And it is commonly used in the start of loops where you want to uh, check your loop variable and eliminate variables that don't pass a test of your choosing. For example, we could say, uh, I want to have an array of file names, me.jpg, work.txt, and sophie.jpg. And then for file in name in file names, I wanna go ahead and print out all the ones that are pictures. So I'll just say print found picture file name but I know actually if I don't end with .jpg, it's not a picture that I care about, so I'll just skip that loop iteration. So we can say if file name has suffix .jpg is false, continue. And so it'll do me JPEG, yep, fine, found picture. Work TXT, nope, fail the test. It's gonna be a, a, come back as a, a false there, continue. And then Sophie, uh, we'll pass test and print a fan picture. As for break, this is similar, but it exits the entire loop when it's reached, rather than skipping one iteration. For example, again, with our items, first one, it's fine. Second one, that's fine. The third one, though, we call break on. And now what will happen is Swift will skip that loop iteration and skip all remaining loop iterations. It exits the loop immediately. It won't carry on as before. Now, to demonstrate this, we can write some code to calculate 10 common multiples for two numbers. So I'll go over to Xcode here and say our, our two numbers. First up, we have uh, number one equal to four and number two equal to 14. And I'll keep track of the numbers we found in a special array. Var multiples equals an array of integers. And now what we can do is we can count up from one through a very large number. So I'll do for uh, i in one through a hundred thousand and find all numbers are multiples of number one and number two. So I'll say if i dot is multiple of number one and i is multiple of number two. Brilliant. We've found a common multiple for these two numbers we'll say multiples.append i. Add that to the list of things we found that are good. And now critically, once we've found 10 multiples, we're done. So we'll say if multiples.count is equal to 10, break, exit the loop, don't continue. And afterwards I'll just do print multiples. Oops, multiples even, there we go Hudson. I'll do print. And boom, so the answer is 28, 56, 84, da, 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 up to 280. We went to 100,000 just to make sure we covered all possible bases. We won't count anywhere near that. We exit at 280. That's where we find our last multiple. We call break. It won't even go near that value. It'll exit straight away. So it does quite a lot. Let's break it down. We have two constants to hold our numbers. We have an integer array variable. We can add things to, that's our com common multiples. We then have our loop from one through 100,000, assigning each value to i. If that value is a multiple of four and also a multiple of 14, we add it to our array. And when we finally hit 10 multiples, we break to exit the loop and finally print out the multiples array. So you want to use continue when you want to skip the rest of the current loop iteration and you want to use break when you want to skip all remaining loop iterations, including the remainder of the current one. 